Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Webs from Slidenet here. In this video, I'm going to talk about what are deferred scripts in JavaScript. Now there are certain techniques for making sure that the user doesn't get pissed off when he opens your website and this is one of them. So first of all, I'd like to thank RJ Christie for contributing this presentation. If you guys do have want to contribute on a particular subject, you're welcome to send your presentations at slidenet.gmail.com. So let's get started with our main stuff. What's the problem with our normal script that you write so far in our previous videos? Well, you see, when you write some code which doesn't involve any special attributes, everything is run line by line by your browser, which means first your HTML opening tag is found, then there is head, then there is your script, and whatever you write inside the script has to be downloaded. Now of course if it's an external script it has to be downloaded. All the code inside that external script must be executed. And while all this happens the user is not gonna be seeing any images or any style sheets or any HTML code that follows the script. Now remember when you're, when you're talking about a large script this really matters because you will see a blank window on the screen if the script is running in the background and the user is gonna be pissed off he's gonna turn the website off and he's gonna be like ah man let's go somewhere else you don't want that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use what you call as a deferred external strip now there's an attribute called defer that's gonna make sure that your script will be downloaded immediately but it will not execute till the other HTML stuff on your page as executed. Now that's the meaning of this defer. Now when you have multiple external scripts, now remember all the while when I'm talking about scripts you notice that I'm talking about external scripts. Defer does not apply to scripts that you write on the same page as your HTML. What you need to have is a separate JavaScript file and that's where defer comes into the picture. So when you have multiple script tags, that is external scripts, and all of them are using defer they are executed in the same perfect order now remember not all the browsers still have support for this defer and you may see some weird behavior everywhere but then let's take a look at deferred scripts in detail the purpose of the defer is to indicate that a script won't be changing the structure of the page as it executes now ideally the code inside your script tag runs under the assumption that you may change the code of the HTML dynamically or you will do something with that but since you're not gonna do that inside your external JavaScript file that's when you use deferred scripts which means if you change the structure you're cheating. Deferred script is run safely after the entire page has been parsed for HTML and of course for X HTML documents you use this attribute like defer equals to defer that's the way you write it now I know that sounds a little dumb but then that's how XHTML does stuff right having your defer attribute signals to the browser that the download should begin immediately but the script should be executed later now we will take a look at an example shortly so don't worry about it if things are a little unclear at this point so how does defer work well till the closing slash HTML tag is not found the script will not be executed now remember I did not say it will not be downloaded it will be downloaded but it will be executed later that's the basic idea so if you take a simple example here let's say there are two external JavaScript files and both of them are defer they are gonna run one after the other that means first the body content is gonna work then the script will be executed from example 1.js and then example 2.js maintaining the perfect order between both the files. So, defer scripts will be executed in the order in which they appear. The first script executes before the second. Now, both will execute before the DOM content loaded event. Now, what does this mean? So, let's take a look at this. What is DOM content loaded? What is load event? Now, when your HTML page is completely understood by your browser it extracts all the data from all the tags and it creates a structure of your HTML page internally for the browser to understand what happens is we say that the parsing of the HTML page is complete that's when your DOM content loaded event fires now JavaScript is an event based language there are events for everything like someone knocks your door you go out and open the door that's an event the same way when something happens in JavaScript an event is fired and you can decide if you want to respond to that event or not. So here, there's another event called the load event. Now this fires when all the files are finished loading. Now let me show you with the help of an image what exactly DOM content loaded and what your other event is. Now, now take a look at this image. 
if you see this actually from a blog website there are several CSS files on the left there are certain JS files and other than that of course there's your images and stuff over here so initially everything is being parsed okay 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 and things are parsed this purple line represents your DOM content loaded event now remember the scripts have been downloaded and parsed but the images you see below here they have just been identified they have not been downloaded yet in other words your browser sees that there is an image and it's like okay there's an image at this place we will download the image later so at this point when parsing is complete the purple line fires the DOM content loaded event but once your images are downloaded what happens is your load event fires which is this orange line the second line indicating that things have been parsed and everything has been downloaded perfectly so once again to give you a different image of the perspective now don't be shocked by this diagram this is one of the few diagrams that shows the different events out there in JavaScript now out of this you see DOM content loaded is fired first inside the processing part in other words when your processing happens by your browser of your HTML stuff and ultimately when everything is loaded that is all images all scripts and all parsing is done there is your load event that starts and the load event ends it is on load over here which happens after DOM content loader now this is one of the minor differences that I wanted to show you guys with the help of this stupid image to be honest with you so if you don't understand everything about this don't worry about it we will be taking a look at all these events in the upcoming videos so further continuing our discussion about deferred script now remember it's only supported for external JavaScript files so for HTML5 if you try to Put it up on an inline script in other words if you try to put defer where you have written the code of the script right inside the script tag then it's gonna ignore it so for the browser support if you talk about it this internet explorer 4 plus firefox 3.5 plus safari 5 plus and chrome 7 plus which are obviously way more outdated than what is currently going on but still if someone uses older browsers well what is gonna happen is those browsers are gonna ignore this attribute and simply treat the script as normally it would run now remember I said the word normally which means script is gonna be downloaded and it's gonna be executed there and then and then your HTML will be run in the older browsers that is why you should best put your default script at the bottom of the page unless it's absolutely necessary but we will be talking about what other strategies exist now there is something called an async attribute as well we will be talking about that in the next video but for now let's take a look at a simple example to try to understand how default scripts really work so here I am on JetBrains web store and I have a simple piece of code there are three JavaScript files all of them are external now remember defer works only with external stuff so first file is called defer test.js inside that there's nothing it's just an alert which says I am defer number one then there's a normal.js where it says alert I'm normal there's defer 2.js which says I am defer number two other than that there's an HTML page which is called defer test.html inside that there's a title and there are three script tags now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you what happens without the defer attribute in other words the source for the first file is gonna be dot dot slash JS so first file is gonna have the source defer test dot JS the second file is gonna have a different source It's gonna be defer test two dot JS the third file is obviously gonna have your normal dot JS over here so let me go ahead and make the appropriate changes here and these are our three files now remember I have not used the defer attribute anywhere over here other than that inside the body I have HTML which says hey man do you see me now I am HTML so now if you run this in Chrome let's take a look at what happens go here run this on Chrome and nothing is seen it says I am defer number one click OK I am defer number two click OK I am normal click OK then you see the HTML which means all this time the user was seeing nothing if the script actually shows nothing on the screen and let's say it's doing some processing in the background the user is gonna see a blank white page here for this much time which is not a good idea now let's go back put the defer attribute try to understand how things work go here now the first file I'm gonna make it as a defer by saying defer equals to defer second file again is gonna be defer because of defer now the third file which is called normal.js I'm not going to put the defer attribute on this now this time if you go and run this in Chrome at the top so first thing you see is I am normal that is the first script that runs interesting isn't it even though defer one as a topmost 
what runs first is the normal script you click OK you see the HTML appears in the background take a look at that because the defer script is downloaded but not executed until the HTML has been completely shown to the user now you see I am defer number one you click OK you see I am defer number two in other words this gives a more responsive HTML page where the user is actually seeing something in the background and the scripts are running later giving the user a better experience so this is how you can use defer in your apps or web apps to make things better so in the next video I'm gonna talk about something else called the async attribute in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day